It worked perfectly right throughout the night. Um, I suppose one or two who have drawn seven and eight, the, the drivers as much as the horses will have to get used to it. But uh, everything went well. There was one false start last night that was caused by a horse getting inside the inside of the barrier, and that could have happened if there were two runners in the race. But it was a pretty successful start, I thought. First race in the card, the favourite, Lady Lanero. Behind them, the spiral, followed by Hero Star, and five metres to my higher purchase. On the turn, though, 300 metres out, Lady Lanero draws a neck within Jungle Louie. Two metres away, Hillary's first out, three wide. In behind them came out of Eros, followed by Neat Lad. Around the turn, though, 200 metres out, Jungle Louie, two metres in front. Lady Lanero slowly pegging away, followed by Hillary's first down the outside. Lady Lanero has got to Jungle Louie, Hillary's first, and out of Eros, late down the outside. Lady Lanero just in front. Hillary's first lunging on the outside, but Lady De Niro, I reckon, is one of the no's to Hillary's first. And third placing in the event, very tight, maybe Jungle Louie. As Brian Markovic called them, Lady De Niro, the six to four favourite, successful. Now let's have a look at your first look at the eight horses across, and you'll see the horse from number seven, Little Do Good, has the speed to get over into the 1 1 sit in race two. Green light on racing. Beginning quickly is Amazing Sate with Standover Man who's looking for the lead. Valerain Bow on the inside though is kicking up, trying to hold out Standover Man. In behind them now, Black Tara getting the third, followed by Amazing Sate as Standover Man clears the field, leaving the straight. Kenros back in the field is out of its gear, it drops out to the tail. Eden Vance is second last, pacing a little bit roughly. Little Do Good is fourth last. Wykery Joker back on the fence and Raining Dollar works up to be fourth. In the back straight the first time and Standover Man in front by six metres to Vela Rainbow. Six metres away, third Black Tara. Five metres, Amazing Sate. Racing up on the outside without cover. On his inside in turn is Raining Dollar, followed by Little Do Good, who's one out with the sit early. On his back in turn is Eaton Vance. In behind them came Wykery Joker, second last Baruna Bay, and a metre back on the fences, Kenros. Standover man in front around the turn. They've nearly gone the first circuit, and he slackens off by five metres to Vela Rainbow, having a nice sit early. Two metres on the outside is Amazing Amazing Sate, three metres the inside is Black Tara, who's three back on the fence, followed by Little Do Good. In behind them, Raining Dollar, four back on the rail, followed by Eden Vance. In behind them came Baruna Bay. Second last is Wykery Joker, and four metres away, Ken Ross, who's last at the moment, and 30 metres off the leader, Standover Man. At the winning post, a circuit to go. At the 850, Standover Man held together. He's four metres in front of Amazing Sate. On the leader's back and being shaken up as Vela Rainbow. Fourth on the outside, Little Do Good. He's had a nice trail, followed by Eden Vance on the outside of Black Tara, who's jammed up on the fence. In behind them came Raining Dollar. Working up on the outside, Baruna Bay, followed by Ken Ross, second last on the outside of Wykery Joker. Along the back of the 600, Standover Man still held together. He's been left alone, three metres to Amazing Sate, who's worked pretty hard. Eden Vance, the first to go forward, three wide. He's flushed out Little Do Good. In behind them came Vela Rainbow. Black Tara now angling one off the fence, working up to be sixth. In behind them, Raining Dollar, Baruna Bay, Wykery Joker. And Ken Ross is last on the turn. At the 250, though, it's still Standover Man. Going as well as anything by four metres, Amazing Sate, who is flat. Little Do Good out three wide. Eden Vance out four wide, making ground, followed by Vela Rainbow and Black Tara. At the 150, though, Standover Man four metres in front. Little Do Good is trying hard with Vela Rainbow. Eden Vance and Black Tara late down the outside, but Standover Man wins comfortably by six metres. Minor placings, Vela Rainbow, I reckon, has run second, just in front of Raining Dollar. Close up, Wykery Joker, Eden Vance, Black Tara out wide. On the fence, Baruna Bay, then Little Do Good, knocking out quickly, and last time was Ken Ross. The winner stand over men fives from the favourite Vela Rainbow 7-2 and Raining Dollar at 7-1. The uh, next race was the three-year-old stakes and the favourite here was Sir Vance at 5-2 on. Better line this time, Greenlot on there racing and Sir Vance began quickly with Roman Empire on the outside. They're going hard early, easing for third now was War Tricks, followed by Admiral Steve. As Sir Vance leads Roman Empire out of the straight, in behind them Flame and Spark, followed by Coilass and Good Time Dream. Second last is Ash Tricks and four metres away Marmalade Tucky. Leaving the straight the first time and Sir Vance in front by four metres to Roman Empire. On the leader's back is War Tricks and fourth on the outside is Admiral Steve. In behind them Flame and Spark, followed by Coilash. She's pulling pretty fiercely at the moment. On her back in turn Good Time Dream. Ash Tricks is working up on the fence and six metres away Marmalade Tucky. 
Along the back at the 1350, and Servants in control. He's four metres to War Tricks and two metres on the outside. Roman Empire third without cover. Fourth on the inside now is Ashtrix being covered up by Admiral Steve. Flame and Spark is three back on the outside of Marmalade Tucky. Second last is Coilass and back on the fence is Good Time Dream. Approaching the turn for the bell at the thousand metre and Sir Vance left alone in front. He's four metres to Roman Empire. A neck on the inside and third is War Tricks on whose back in turn is Ashtrix followed by Admiral Steve on the outside who's pulling for the moment followed by Marmalade Tucky. In behind them Flame and Spark. Second last on the rail Good Time Dream and ahead on the outside is Coilass. At the Georgia circuit to go and Sir Vance left alone. He's having a very comfortable run first up by three metres to Roman Empire. A metre back on the fence is War Tricks and fourth on the outside is Admiral Steve. Ashtrix on the inside. In behind them Marmalade Tucky the fence followed by Flame and Spark. Coilass is second last and three metres away, Good Time Dream. Along the back of the 650, they start to quicken up. It's still Sir Vance over four metres in front of Roman Empire being shaken up. Two metres away, War Tricks. In behind them, Admiral Steve. Coilass from second last is going forward. In behind them, Flame and Spark, followed by Ash Tricks and Marmalade Tucky and Good Time Dream. At the 450, though, it's still Sir Vance. He's three metres in front. Roman Empire is sticking on for the moment. Coilass wider out is making ground a second. In behind them Admiral Steve followed by Flame and Spark then War Tricks and Ash Tricks followed by Marmalade Tucky and Good Time Dream around the turn though at the 220 Sir Vance got away by four metres to Coilass six metres away Flame and Spark running into third followed by Roman Empire but Sir Vance is far too good Sir Vance is careering away to score easily first up he looks okay Sir Vance he's won by eight metres to Coilass five metres away third Flame and Spark just in front of Roman Empire. Then Admiral Steve followed by Ashtrix. In behind the Marmalade Tucky, Good Time Dream. And last in was War Tricks. Pretty smart youngster this one, Sir Van. Scored well starting at 5-2 to two on. The free for all, Panyan drew one and started 9-2 to two on. 2380 green light on there racing and Panyon began very swiftly from one but wide out parading is taking him on early in behind them now is crystal glenmar and gosh is now working up on the outside to be third but Panyon holding out parading early in behind them came garnet bay and four meters away last now is ira Mu. Around the turn the first time, and Panyon in front by four metres to Gosh, creeping up on the fence to be second, parading fourth without cover. He'll get it in a stride because Garnet Bay from second last is going forward. Crystal Glenmar back on the fence and four metres to Iremu. In the straight the first time, Panyon in front. He slackens off by four metres to Gosh and two metres on the outside, Garnet Bay without cover. Fourth on the inside is Crystal Glenmar, one out with the sit, and second last now parading in four metres on the fence is Ira Moo. Leaving the straight the first time at the 1850, and Panyon in control at his leisure by four metres to Garnet Bay on the leader's back is Gosh, one out is parading, followed by Crystal Glenmar, and four metres to Ira Moo. He's last of the six, but no more than 12 to 15 metres off the leader, which is Panyon. Along the back of the 1650, he's held together in front by four metres to Gosh on his back, and ahead on the outside is Garnet Bay. She's sitting up without cover. One out is parading, followed by Crystal Glenmar, who's three back on the fence in second last and six metres away, Ira Moo. Off the back of the 1300, it's still Panyon in front. He's left alone by four metres to Garnet Bay. On the leader's back is Gosh having a nice trail, followed by parading on the outside of Crystal Glenmar and four metres away, Ira Moo. They quicken up, approaching the turn for the bell at the 1100 and Panyon left alone under a very good hold by by four metres to Garnet Bay. On the leader's back is Gosh, still no moves, followed by parading Crystal Glenmar and four metres away last and now coming one off the fence is Ira Moo to be three back on the outside. As I said, no more than 12 to 15 metres off the leader, which is Panyon. With a circuit left to go, he's been left... Bay. Despite working, she's creeping up a little bit closer on the outside. On the leader's back is Gosh. She's in a great run, followed by parading. In behind them, Crystal Glenmar and two metres away, Ira Moo. Sweeping out of the straight, at the 650, it's still Panyon. He appears to be going very easily. He's four metres in front of Garnet Bay. On the leader's back is Gosh held up, and fourth on the outside is parading. Fifth on the inside, Crystal Glenmar. And last of the six, halfway down the back is Ira Moo. No change in the order. At the 450, Panyon still in control by three metres to Garnet Bay, who's worked pretty hard. 
Two metres away, third is Gosh, followed by parading Crystal Glenmar and Ira Moo. And still no moves on the turn, 300 metres to go. Now parading from third last is going forward. Panyon held together, two metres to Garnet Bay, who's sticking on doggedly, parading out wide, making up some ground. Gosh can't get a run from Crystal Glenmar and Ira Moo. In the straight of the 150, Panyon shaken up. He's three metres in front from Garnet Bay, who can't go on. Parading gets to second, followed by Gosh on the fence, making ground. But Panyon wins in a breeze. Panyon scores by six metres. Gosh has run second, a neck in front of Parading. Close up was Crystal Glenmar, Garnet Bay. And last all the way was Ira Moo. Easy win to Panyon, 9-2 on from Gosh and Parading. And we'll be back after this break to have a look at the final four events from Mooney Valley last night. The greatest period of the sporting year. It's football finals time, and every last ounce of strength will go into the chase for the ultimate prize as Footscray and Hawthorne gear up for the qualifying final. Catch it all on Seven's Big League today at 5 and again at 10.40 tonight. You know, every national TV and video recorder you buy today will still be under warranty in 1988, and that's a very big warrant. Go, Rocky, show me the way. Go, Rocky, take me away. Now you can audition the biggest advance in sound technology, compact disc, in your home. Your Maya store will supply a superb Marantz compact disc player for your home for one week. They'll even supply you with a compact disc. Then either you bring it back, or if you can't get it out of your system, a Marantz compact disc player costs as little as $499. Believe me, for the greatest addition to your current sound system, see Maya stores now. Some people make sure they always get what they want. Mm. Tickets, please. Thank you. Oh. Best journey. Mm. Tickets. Tickets people just can't get enough of those delicious, juicy sultanas. And their body loves bread. Kellogg's Sultana Bran. It's the breakfast cereal that everybody goes back for. If there's any left. Mm. Now we go to race five at the harness racing last night, a very open affair. Green light on the racing. Beginning quickly, Kentuck from the pole. It will lead on settling down from Sunovic and South Atlas cord wide. Genesee began quickly, racing up to be fifth, but off the back is four wide. Colt Sebers three wide, then Festival Summer getting through the field, followed by Demon Hero. In behind them now came Gillian Frost, and up on the outside is Marching Order. Kentuck in front, though, around the turn the first time. He's four metres to Colt Sebers going forward. On his back now is Genesee. South Atlas easing for the one-out sit. Sunovic on the leaders back early and behind them. Demon Hero, followed by Festival Summer, Gillian Frost, and up on the outside, Marching Order. Down the straight the first time, and Ken Tucker's the pilot by two and a half metres to Genesee. He now works out to be second without cover. Little Son of Vickers travelling third on the fence, and fourth on the outside is Colt Sebers. Fifth on the inside, Demon Hero, followed by South Atlas. On his back is Festival Summer, third last, followed by Gillian Frost. And four metres away last is Marching Order. That's the order out of the straight the first time at the 1650. And in front, Ken Tuck. He's five metres, two on the outside, Genesee. On the leader's back is Son of Vic, followed by Colt Sebers on the outside of Demon Hero. Then South Atlas, three back on the outside, followed by Gillian Frost, Festival Summer. And four metres to Marching Order, some 25 metres off the leader, Ken Tuck, at the 1350. Sweeping off the far circle once again, and Ken Tuck is left alone. He's four metres in front of Genesee, second without cover. Ahead on the inside is Son of Vic, fourth on the outside, Colt Sebers. He's pulling for the moment, followed by Demon Hero on his inside. In behind Behind them came South Atlas, followed by Gillian Frost. Festival Summer, second last, four back on the outside and four metres away, marching order. In the straight with a circuit to go. Again, Kentucky quickens up. He's four metres in front of Genesee. He's had to work pretty hard. Third placing, Son of Vic having a nice trail, followed by Colt Sebers, fourth on the outside. 
From second last now, Festival Summer going forward. Demon Hero midfield defence, followed by South Atlas. In behind them came Gillian Frost, and two metres away, marching or a last. Out of the straight, the final time. At the 700, it's still Ken Tuck in control. He got away now by five metres to Genesee, being shaken up. Son of Vickers third. In behind them came Colt Sebers, followed by Demon Hero. Festival Summer three wide, making up a little bit of ground. He's being hard driven by the same token, followed by South Atlas held up, then Marching Order and Gillian Frost. Off the back, though, at the 450, it's still Ken Tuck. He's three metres in front of Genesee, who's trying hard. Son of Vickers held up third. Wide around Festival Summer only plugging on, followed by Colt Sebers, Demon Hero, Marching Order, South Atlas and Gillian Frost. Around the turn, though, at the 250, and Ken Tuck got away. He's six metres in front of Genesee. Son of Vickers getting to second, followed by Colt Sebers, South Atlas and Festival Summer making up a little bit of ground, but Ken Tuck looks the goods at the 120, he's four metres in front of Son of Vickers trying hard, Colt Sebers late down the outside with South Atlas, but Ken Tuck wins by four metres Maybe in the centre, Colt Sebers has run second. A nose to Son of Vic and a nose to South Atlas. Nothing in it for the miners. Gillian Frost made ground, followed by Festival Summer, Genesee, Marching Order, and last was Demon Hero. And the winner there, Ken Tucker, doubled to the Knights at 5-1. to one. The Trotters race, the favourite was Red Amazon. Lovely line. Racing. Autobahn from one scrambled away. Swit Albertine next door began fairly well. Run Dick Runners uh, half out of its gear. Counter Sider began fairly well. Delvin Purple gets to third and working up now Red Amazon to be fourth. Andy Bride and Clayton Run both began okay. And Run Dick Run after breaking now drops out to second and last uh, along with Clayton Run. Up in front early around the turn the first time now is Sweet Albertine. She's taken over by five metres to Autobahn. Two metres on the outside, Delvin Purple. Red Amazon tonight now works up to the one out sit, followed by Countersider on her inside. And that five have broken away by 12 metres to Leeches Creek, six metres to Andy Brighton. In behind them, Run Dick Run, and three metres away last, the fence is Clayton Run. At the winning post the first time, two circuits out, and Sweet Albertine, the pilot, by four metres to Autobahn. Ahead on the outside without cover. Delvin Purple. Red Amazon tonight, fourth on the outside of County Cider. A break of eight metres to Leach's Creek, followed by Andy Bryden, Rundick Run, and two metres away, the fences, Clayton Run. Along the back straight once again, they've nearly gone the first circuit. It's an even pace, and Sweet Albertine in front, inclined to pull by six metres to Autobahn. Ahead on the outside, Delvin Purple without cover. Five metres to County Cider on the inside of Red Amazon. Every chance tonight for her. Six metres away, Leach's Creek, followed by Andy Bryden, and the the last pair are Clayton Run on the inside of Run Dick Run. Off the back of the 1350 and Sweet Albertine going quickly now. She's six metres in front of Autobahn. A metre the outside, Delvin Purple. He's having no lack in the run. Fourth on the fence is County Sider. Fifth on the outside, Red Amazon. She's being tapped up at the moment though. Followed by Andy Bryden, Leeches Creek, Creighton Run. And four metres away, Run Dick Run. Sweet Albertine though still in front with a circuit to go. Dictating the to suit. She's five metres in front of Delvin. Delvin Purple now working up on the outside to be second from Autobahn on the fence. In behind them, Red Amazon, followed by County Cider. Then Leeches Creek on the outside of Andy Brighton. Second last defence, Clayton Run. And up on the outside, Run Dick Run. Out of the straight, 800 metres to go. Sweet Albertine in front. She has gone fairly quickly and she has pulled. She's five metres in front of Delvin Purple. He's worked pretty hard outside Autobahn. Then County Cider on the inside of Red Amazon. She's in a nice trail tonight. Andy Brighton for back on the fence, back in behind them Leeches Creek, from last now Run Dick Run going forward and three metres away Clayton Run, latching to the back of the other run, Run Dick Run, and the runs are coming at the 450, Sweet Albertine two metres in front of Delvin Purple, Red Amazon now hooks to the outside three wide, so Run Dick Run's out four wide, Counter Sider coming one off the fence, followed by Autobahn, Clayton Run had right off the track now, coming quickly, followed by Leeches Creek and Andy Brighton. They're jamming up on the turn though at the 250. Sweet Albertine being joined by Delvin Purple. Counter Sider three out making ground. Red Amazon not going well. And right off the track, here's Clayton Run on the outside. He's coming quickly. Counter Sider a metre in front. Clayton Run on the outside is trying very hard. Counter Sider pulling sufficient near the line. And Counter Sider has got home by three metres to Clayton Run. Three metres away, third was Andy Bryden. Then Run Dick Run, followed by Red Amazon every chance. In behind the Morto Barn, then Leeches Creek, Delvin Purple. And after leading around the turn, knocking up Sweet Albertina's run last.
And the winner, Countess Ida, a 10 to 1 Red Amazon, very disappointing favourite. Long odds on and disappointing Smiley Lad in the next. Green light on there racing. Marin King away quickly. Adam Bray broke up shortly after. He contacted 05, who scrambled for a stride or two. And Marin King leads early from Michael Manley, Pleasant Fellow. Rajah's Rebel Court wide. Flying Looney sneaking up on the fence, followed by Smiley Lad. He settles down sixth in behind them, Bindi Black, followed by Haughty Lord 05. And after breaking shortly after the start, six metres away, Adam Bray last. On the turn the first time, a line of three, they're going hard up in front. Marin King being joined by Michael Manley. And Rajah's Rebel posted three wide. In behind them, Flying Looney, fourth on the inside. Michael Manley now eases, so Rajah's Rebel works out to be second. Within three metres of Marin King at the winning post the first time, Flying Looney sneaking up on the inside on the leader's back and from last now Adam Bray going forward in behind them came Pleasant Fellow 05 now working up on the fence followed by Smiley Lad he's out the back to second last and pulling double in behind them Haughty Lord and Bindi Black as last Along the back of the 1650, Marin King given a breather. He's four metres in front of Flying Looney. And working up to be third now is Atom Bray. Fourth on the inside is 05. Rajah's Rebel fifth on the outside, followed by Michael Manley. In behind them, Haughty Lord. Then Pleasant Fellow. Smiley Ladder second last and four metres away, Bindi Black. Off the far circle, at the lap and a quarter mark, 1,200 metres to go. Marin King in front. He has been tested, though, by three metres to Adam Bray, who's sitting up second outside Flying Looney and neck away. In behind them came Rajah's Rebel, followed by 05 on the fence. On his back as Haughty Lord, followed by Michael Manley. Then Pleasant Fellow, Smiley Lad second last, and four metres away, Bindi Black. In the straight with a circuit left to travel, and Marin King, he's still the pilot. From second last now, the favourites going forward, Smiley Lad. On the leader's back is Flying Looney. He's enjoyed a nice sit. Then Rajah's Rebel, followed by 05. In behind them, Michael Manley. Bindi Black is now tracking Smiley Lad. In behind them, Haughty Lord. And last is Pleasant Fellow. They head to the back straight the final time. Inside the 800, it's Marin King by three metres to Adam Bray. And Smiley Lad now going up to the mount three wide. Flying Looney fourth is badly hemmed in, followed by Bindi Black is going forward on the back of Smiley Lad. In behind them came Rajah's Rebel, 05 on the fence from Michael Manley, Pleasant Fellow and Haughty Lord. Along the back of the 500, Marin King two metres in front. Smiley Lad now works up to be a clear second. He's the immediate threat. Then Flying Looney third in need of a run. In behind them came going forward now 05 on the inside. Then Bindi Black, Adam Bray is gone. Then Rajah's Rebel, Pleasant Fellow, Michael Manley second last held Held up and four metres away, Haughty Lord. Around the turn, though, at the 250. Marin King, two metres in front of Smiley Lad, about to be called upon. He's going all right, followed by Bindi Black getting to third. Then Flying Looney out in the clear. Marin King, two metres in front. Smiley Lad is trying very hard, and 05 is starting to fly along the inside. Marin King, though, in front near the line, and Marin King has won it a metre to 05. Two metres away, third, Smiley Lad. He went from bowling to beaten on the turn in a stride. In behind them came Flying Looney, followed by Bindi Black. Then Haughty Lord, Pleasant Fellow, Michael Manley, Atom Bray, and Rajah's Rebel has run last. And all the way to Marin King at 25, the favourite Smiley Lad, 9 to 4 on. The last, the favourite Lord Amber from Haversack. Sack is going forward from Ryan's Way and two metres away Rutherford Eric. Around the turn though, 300 metres out. At your service, a neck in front of Glen Cycle. Water out, Lord Amber boxing on. Then Wilsonian Jewer, have a sack, King Robert, Ryan's Way, Exit Petto and Rutherford Eric. In the straight though, at your service, collared by Glen Cycle on the outside, which drew a neck in front. Water out as Lord Amber, followed by Haversack, who's coming quickly down the outside. Glen Cycle just in front of Lord Amber, but Haversack is coming home a little bit too well on the outside. Haversack grabbed the lead in the shadows of the post, and Haversack has won a metre to Lord Amber, and a metre and a half away, third Glen Cycle. And uh, Haversack 3 to 1, beating the 7 to 4 favourite Lord Amber. Let's have a look at the doubles from last night. The daily double, one and five, eighty-three dollars eighty. The extra four and one, four dollars ten. And the quadrilla double, one seven five, four hundred and sixty-two dollars. Now, harness racing through the week starts off at Kilmore on Monday afternoon, where they've got a very good uh, program of events there. And we'll have a look at some of the others now that uh, you can go to. Tuesday, um, 
Ah, we've got the races up there. Let's not worry about it. Kilmore on Monday. They're the gallops, and uh, there'll be plenty of entertainment there for you. Per Chevalier ran last night up in Brisbane, incidentally. He ran only 157.3 for the mile. They thought he was disappointing. Most of them couldn't run it in the back of a Mercedes flat. That's all as far as World of Sport replay is concerned. Stand by now for World of Sport proper. World of Sport Replay was another Seven Sport presentation. Finals fever has Melbourne in its grip, and Seven Sport will bring you all the finals action. Today, Hawthorne will clash with Melbourne in the qualifying final telecast live from the MCG at 11.40 this morning. The excitement of the Army Reserve Cup. It is the...